Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon, depending upon where you're at. This is Old Man Gibb, and today we're going to do a short opinion piece on Seven Days to Die. And I am in Alpha 20, and uh, on day two of this particular um, playthrough that I stopped, because quite frankly, I just got bored. Um, now, with that being said, Alpha 20 is by far the most, um, impressive and best playthrough they have done. Yeah, I'm using God Mode real because I can get up here. Um, it is absolutely fabulous. Now, I started playing this game in Alpha 14. I thought it was Alpha 12, but I was wrong. It was Alpha 14. And I don't have near as much time in this game as a lot of folks do. I've only got 1,243.4 hours, according to Steam, and 7 Days to Die. And the reason why I have decided to quit playing 7 Days to Die and not play until the game goes gold is quite simply because even though Alpha 20 is absolutely outstanding um, by comparison to the other Alphas, it is a whole brand new game. The POIs are beautiful. The zombies, the way the zombies act is outstanding. It's a lot harder to glitch them. Um, hordes are wonderful. The only thing, the biggest reason is, is because I'm bored. I've got too many hours in the game, and I find that the only enjoyment I have is probably the first seven days. Uh, just trying to get established, get built up, and get ready for the first horde. After that, once you get, you make it through the first horde, you now know what it takes to survive a horde, and you can improve upon it. Yeah, that takes a little bit of time, but it's all grinding, and... That gets real boring real fast. So, um, let me go up here to what's cool here is skill points. They've redone the skill tree quite a bit. And quite frankly, for multiplayer, this all here makes absolute sense. Um, for single player... Doesn't make a whole bunch of sense because you only get one perk point or skill point per level. Now, what this is doing is it's forcing you to specialize. Specialization only makes sense in a multiplayer environment, not a single player. So what I end up doing is going into the progressive, the progression any file, and giving myself three points per level. So that by the time I max out at level 150, 300, whatever, I've got all the, the perk points. Simply because specializing in a single player environment is absolutely asinine. It's stupid. Um, not everybody plays multiplayer. I have no problems with those that do play multiplayer. I've played this multiplayer with folks from time to time. And it's fun. But... I prefer for myself, and I know there are thousands upon thousands of players out there that prefer a single player environment. So, we, you know, forcing those players to specialize doesn't make any sense. Now, with that being said, that's probably the only thing that I can think of that is game breaking with the current Alpha 20 environment. The world is beautiful. Um,. I play random gen. I absolutely hate Navis game. Um, I've played it so much, you know where everything's at, and it's it's boring. So, um, but random gen, the random generator, though it still takes forever and ten days to make a map and load up, is a lot better. And so, my recommendation is, if you have not played Seven Days to Die, go get it on Steam. It's a wonderful zombie game that is can be extremely difficult and frustrating. The 
uh, crafting, the way you gain experience now is greatly changed by comparison to what it used to be with um, where you could craft 50 items of something and level up. You can't do that anymore, which thank God they took that out of the game because that was probably the dumbest way to level up. You'd have people do nothing but making hundreds of clubs to level up. That was so stupid. <clears throat> but, excuse me, with all that being said, um, Seven Days to Die by the Fun Pimps is an absolutely amazing game. So, if opinions from players matter to you, I highly recommend that if you enjoy zombie survival crafting type of game, you pick this up on Steam or your favorite uh, game hosting place and jump in and enjoy and with that being said, this is Old Man Gibb. I wish you a great and wonderful day. I hope this video helps you out, and I will catch you in the next one.